clinical evaluation is also including regular checks of anthropometric parameters. The colleagues from Medical University of Lodz in Poland will now explain to you how to manage nutrition in older patients with chronic kidney disease. Welcome to the geriatric clinic of the Medical University of Łódź. My name is Dr. Agnieszka Guligowska and together with my colleagues Zuzanna Szanspek and Małgorzata Pigłowska, we would like to tell you how important are proper nutrition and hydration for older adults with chronic kidney disease. Eating well when a patient has a chronic kidney disease is very important and helps him stay as healthy and strong as possible. Poorly functioning kidneys should not be additionally burdened by an improper diet, including the right types and amounts of the recommended food and fluid intake, can help the kidneys to work easier and keep the patient well for longer. Patients' appetite and perception of the taste can change. This is because the metabolic waste products, instead of being removed by the kidneys, are being built up in the blood. Additionally, the elderly have an impaired ability to sense thirst. Therefore, the risk of dehydration is very high. There are three main goals of nutrition therapy for chronic kidney disease. Maintaining a good nutritional status, slow progression of chronic kidney disease, and treat complications of chronic kidney disease. So we can underline the three key diet components which slowing the progression. Firstly, managing diabetes. The diet should maintain a constant blood sugar level and prevent hypoglycemia by education how the patient should proceed in such a situation. Secondly, if excessive reduced protein intake to 0.8 to 1 gram protein per kilogram per day, it can decrease albuminuria and increase serum albumin without increasing risk for protein malnutrition. And thirdly, controlling blood pressure by reducing sodium intake. Limit sodium intake to 2300 milligrams a day or less and monitor serum potassium intake if it's higher than 5 milli equivalent per liter, limit dietary potassium intake. The level of dietary changes depend on the current kidney function, therapy and concomitant diseases. To assess nutritional status and hydration, we use anthropometric measurements, weight, height, arm and leg circumferences, and also body composition. The risk of malnutrition is measured using mini nutritional assessment. Quality of diet and nutrients intake is evaluated using a 24 hour Nicole questionnaire. Monitoring and nutritional and hydration status, energy and nutrient intake, as well as the body's response to consumed food and drinks, should be carried out regularly and allow adapting the diet to the patient's current needs. Thank you for your attention.